Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Good. Good evening fellow countrymen and women, uh, this is uh, Jackson Silave, President of the Golden Party of Zambia, uh, doing an interview in front of Ridgeway Police Post, where we have just visited our friend and colleague, the EEP President, Mr. Chilufia Tayal. Um, he has been moved. For those of you who are following the story, uh, he was arrested um, a few days ago and he was at Chilanga Police uh, Station. He was moved later in the day to Musamba Police Post right there in Chilanga and uh, now he has been moved to Ridgeway Police Post where we are right now. Um, we have managed to see him. And I must uh, uh, commend the Zambia police at Ridgeway Police for their professionalism in the way they are handling people who are coming to see Mr. Chilifatai. Unlike what we experienced at Kabwata Police Station, where we were attacked in full view um, of the police by the UPND cadres, here at Ridgeway Police, it's relatively quiet and also the manner in which the police are handling themselves uh, deserves commendation. I think when something is being done in the right way, we must be able to call it out and also give credit where it is due. So already our first impression is that we've experienced professionalism on the part of the police at Ridgeway Police Post. Now, coming to Mr. Chilifatali, I've been able to speak to him. Um, he's in high spirits, but he has um, mentioned to me that he was badly beaten in police custody. So this confirms the story that the Socialist Party president gave to the nation that indeed he was swallowed. I want to confirm that indeed he has confirmed with me that he was badly beaten in police custody where uh, at some point they even switched off the, the, the lights you know for them to just beat him and um, apart from that we noticed also that immediately we walked in we brought in some water and a few foodstuffs he actually asked for a bottle of water from us to take some tablets we are not so sure what that is, but again he's saying that um, he's in pain, he's been badly beaten. We want to take great exception to that kind of conduct. Regardless of what Mr. Chilipatali said, he cannot be beaten. We cannot subject our own political leaders to that kind of treatment. I think pronouncing judgment should be left to the courts of law not the police to become the judge, the jury, and indeed the prosecutor. That we cannot allow. So yes, he has confirmed that he was badly beaten. I would like to also th say thank you to the human rights uh, organizations that have taken interest in this matter. It's not a small issue for an opposition leader to be beaten in police custody, whatever the differences may be. There are a lot of things that I don't personally agree with the conduct of the politics or the style of politics of my colleague in the opposition. But to resort to beating him, that cannot be accepted. And I'm very thankful that while we were here, a human rights organization came in to interview him so that they can be able to give, he can be able to give perspective. He has also informed me that he has been charged uh, now um, with um, a sedition, a 
against the president and also harassment against Chief Mukunde. I don't want to delve into that because it's under active investigation, but my appeal to the police is that let Tali be taken to court so that he can be able to have his day in court. And for us, we feel that this whole thing of arresting opposition leaders is unnecessary. Some of these cases, it's simple. Just bring the summon to him, let him be sued and go to court and go and explain yourself. I also want to urge the Republican president to exercise some wisdom in dealing with opposition political leaders. You cannot put opposition political leaders in a straight jacket. That is unacceptable. I think he needs to know how to deal with different characters and different temperaments in the opposition circles. It's important that the president moves in that fashion because, as they say in Bemba, Ichalo Tachitalalanga Musunga, and you cannot treat other leaders as if they are members of your household so that they can bend to your will. I think there, is a, there has to be a bit of latitude on how we deal with each other in the country. I think, yes, I'm on record saying that I don't agree with some of the sentiments that come from my colleagues, but again also the honors, the president being at the apex of the leadership of the country, he must exercise wisdom on how he deals with some of the colleagues in the opposition. And we are here to help. As you know, I presided over I led or presided over political parties for four years as their chairperson. If the president needs input from people like us, we are willing to give it freely to him so that we advise him on the right course to deal with some of the opposition leaders in our country. Like I've said before, all these colleagues, Savoy, Chiruta Tayad, you know, um, President Harry Kala, President Sean Tembo, all these colleagues are known to me. I've spoken to them. I have interacted with them intimately at the time I was their chairperson. So I can offer free advice to the president on now to deal with different opposition leaders. Otherwise, what is obtaining in our country is not good. It's also not good for the president. And I think he may agree with me. You know, where you have opposition leaders being beaten in police custody, that is a dent on President Akainde's Chilema's record, governor's record. So what is happening right now is not good for the country. And I wish uh, that he should be taken to court, that he can have his day in court. But as GPZ, we return our position that uh, a tor torturing or beating of opposition political leaders in police custody is out of question. And I pray that the people that beat, the, the officers that beat President Ali should face the law. They should be able to answer why he was beaten. Thank you very much.